Hello everyone, I'm Chin and you can call me Ken. This is the kernel engine tutorial for ABS mode, the second part. And this time I'm going to teach you something. First I'm going to teach you some add-on plugins. And I'll teach you the enemy HP and the tool hood and also the event sensor. Then I'll teach you how to use the item drop. And then the last one, it was the bow. I'll teach you how to make a bow and the bow will cost an arrow every time you use it. Okay, so we start from the add-on plugin. It was quite simple for this plugin. For the enemy HP, it just put in the enemy HP. And remember your chrono folder in the image. Then it was the tool hood. It was just like enemy HP. Just put in the plugin and you can use it. Just remember the chrono folder in your image folder. And then it was the event sensor. Let's take a look. There's only one parameter inside. It was the self switch keys. It means when the player approach your enemy and it was inside the distance you set then it will trigger the self switch D and let's check out there's two slimes I put it over here and the first slime was just like the slime in the first part and then the second slime there are two pages in the first pages we don't set the root and we put the enemy IDs over here this time we use one more script it was the event sensor and I set this to 3 that means when the player moved to this slime and it was in 3 block then it will trigger this page this page self switch D and we put the root over here remember this one this touch damage and then let's check out how to use the item drop and when we use item drop we use the database so we open the database and look at our enemy and we are using enemy ID to the slime and if you want the item drop just simply choose some items over here and when you defeat the enemy then there will be a small icon shown over here And as for this event, we'll just get something, what we create. And then the last thing, it was creating a bow. So let's go to your tool map. And I create a new event, it was event ID 2. And this time I use skill and I'm using skill ID too so later I'll let you check out the database and every time when I use the bow when I use this skill ID too it'll cost an item arrow and the item arrow I set it to item ID too and then this time we add this well this means when you hit one enemy and there's also one enemy behind it so it won't pierce him and this is the music and then just check out the route we we'll also need this you'll need one step forward so your arrow could fly in a line or if you miss this it just stop there and remember to click the skip
Now let's check out the database. This time we use skill and just look at the skill ID2. I've made a bow over here. The scope was enemy and I set the damage to 50. And remember this one. Without this one, you can't use it. I connect this skill to this tools in the tool map, the event ID2. And then let's look at the item arrow. You don't really need to do something to this arrow. Just remember it was consumable. And that's all. Now let's check it out. Okay, as you can see, there's a hood over there. And this hood is our tool hood. And when you hit Q and you choose your item, your item will show the icon. And when you hit the skill W, then you can see your skills over here and when you hit OK you'll see there's a skills over here and this 99 is my arrow because it cost this item arrow and now I got 99 arrows okay let me show you okay look at here I got an item sword and I got an item arrow and I got 99 arrows And now let's fight the slime. And when you want to use the skill, you hit S. You hit S. And you'll see there's a tooth over here, and that's the enemy HP. And as you can see, there's an arrow over here, and it just keep hitting the slime. And when the slime's dead, you can see there's an icon, and that icon is the arrow. And if you just simply touch it, then you can pick it up. And now let's approach this slime. Um, this time you can see the slime is just walking there and it won't attack me until I approach it. As you can see, when I approach it, it will start to chasing me. And if I run away and keep the distance, then the slime will stop. And if I just walk in and he attack me, he attack me. It's just like this. And this is the event sensor. And now I'm going to kill this slime. And pick up the item. And this is the tutorial for today. And I hope you like it. If you like it, please thumb up or subscribe. Thank you.